Us Americans. One L. came in but it looks dry so we're gonna say dry 252 all right the winds are at 260 oh it got it got windy here Twenty six knot gusts. Temperature is ten. The altimeter is a nine nine four. Which we gotta do use this for the conversion. Oh, come on. All right, two nine three nine. Weights are 249.4 by 249. Let's calculate. Alright. What was it? 136, 137, 161. One thirty-six. All right, trim is one point one. Wait, was it up or down? Up. Oh, now it's raining. Rip. So what are your plans for the day? Playing the piano while owning a plane. Good. Well, it was dry when I looked. Now it's wet and raining. So what? Uh, let's change that. See if that changes anything. One thirty. One thirty-two. Got no real planes? Wait, you got no real planes? 146. Oh yeah, and the flex is 57. We just gotta wait for the alignment. Let's get rid of the GPU. Uh, 
nothing to do today. Let's go look at the charts. We need to go to the Simling turn oh over here. That's pretty good there. That's like never see that happen. What's up there, Squid? I need to Push back to the left. This parking is too small for your aircraft. Oh sh But now it's dry again. It was raining. Oh yeah, okay, let me Ready for pushback. Yes, yeah, you here? Departure check completed, bypass pin inserted. Oh, it's ready to pop up with the answers. Probably show it when we get up in the air. Yeah, oh, here you are. Yeah, this was in a year, I guess, a game. That's how he knew what it was. He was playing it in real life. He's like, I want to show you on the map. I will take a picture of it. Locking gear. So instead of five thousand points, he can he's getting ten thousand points on that one. I need to go to the left. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Alright, we'll turn the crank to A and then we'll start engine number one. Yeah, that's 10,000 points. And it'll be funny if it was like the exact same spot as the Google car took that. Well, I just hope, uh... Well, they kind of do have that. They got that Geo... Whatever that Geo game... They'll hide stuff and you gotta go find it. And maybe we'll pick... Then people make a living all doing that stuff. So that kind of does happen. <laughs> Engine number two. Yeah, but just a yeah. Set parking bricks. That'd be kind of cool though, because uh, you'd be like. All right, where's this at? And you gotta drive to it. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine. Start. 
You can disconnect. I'm gonna take a picture and send it in. You're like, oh, viewer. Ten feet off. But don't play world. Don't play the world though, because then you gotta travel all over the world, and you might end up in like a very bad place in India. <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's set our flaps. Set the flaps. Oops, it did. I right, max out of brakes. No, it's up here. Tow track disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Left is clear, right is clear. Dude, I mean, like, watch, I would do a multi state trip, you know, guess, or yeah, that would be kind of. That would be kind of hard to do because, of, oh, this may be over by San Diego, and you're thinking there, and you drive all the way to, like, San Diego to find out it's in, like, Reading. Uh, it would be fun. You just gotta have money. Alright, let's get going. Oh, well, maybe not. It said no. Money... Guy is drunk. All right, let's go. Hey, what's up there, Nazwell? Uh, it's only like 312 miles. for the first time. Oh, rip. Let's have a moment of silence. We had a butter landing in the last one.
one to seventy five. Uh, we're going to be doing Euro, tr Euro Truck Simulator. Came down to pass and then I'm at a 90 and I need to get a little bit more viewership to start doing GeoGuster. We need more people. Alright, let's go. Hit Toga. Okay, now I'm passing. We have to make a 90 degree. We lost lift and fell down. Rip. Alright, gear up. And we got one more flight after this, too. That small thing my friend fell down from 35,000 feet a couple days ago, his both teams just shut it down. Uh, that's what squids want ha squid wants to ha happen to me. I want to have both engine failures, hydraulic failure, pilot failure. Window failure. And I do a nosedive into the ground. Couldn't think of any more failures. Oh yeah, electrical failure. All at the same time. Oh, I just came so fast through and the plane just shut the engines down without any warnings. Rip. I've got to do got to put. All right, we're gonna go. Standard. And this one you have to actually. Ooh. Oh, we gotta put the flaps up. Engine fire. Oh, yeah, I need, well, I would kind of go with the engine failure. Oh, yeah, well. I always had an engine fire in the Eclipse 550 in X-Plane. That was so quick to have an engine fire. Well, we had one landing line on. I can't believe what you did to him. I laughed and said, Oh, have a good day. I gotta go. Yeah, that would be, that's why I don't really do uh, long hauls. 
either I'll crash and let a landing, or the game will crash. And then I would feel like I just want to like stop playing flight sim. Like when long as you can make food, take a shower, so yeah, well, I mean, like a 17 hour flight, you're never gonna see me do even across the pond. I did it was eight hours you bring with a mess when I got <laughs> And just imagine doing like the rats and cross the pond event. You pretty much gotta be at the computer the whole time. I know I do got like a couple 900 mile flights in this tour, Australia to New Zealand and I think uh, parts of Russia into Alaska. That'll be a while from now. I had a good chair at the time, then it got broken. Now I'm sitting on the kitchen chair. Ouch. That's what I'm kind of sitting on right now. And then we got one more flight after this, and then tomorrow we're gonna be going to Innsbruck in the afternoon. Yeah, I have really no idea what I'm doing on Thursday for Thanksgiving. My uncle really hasn't said anything, but they're probably going to my cousin's house in Cincinnati, and I can't go because I gotta work. So I may be just some uh, 
door dash some turkey. That's what I probably will do. <laughs> bad time to be a turkey now yeah but turkey is so good you boss just gave you an 18 pound turkey Ooh. which is good because they're like very expensive Speaking of giant, do you guys see this, um, they found a gigantic, hold on, I gotta find it again, where it, uh, they found a gigantic goldfish. Yeah, and this is not fake. I've seen it on other news. Out. They found a. Imagine that happening in your fish tank. No, it's a goldfish. It was found in Champagne, France. Looks like a golden carp. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Alright, let's see what it says in the article. Unless, yeah. There are many breeds of goldfish, but... It oh, yeah, let's see... Goldfish is a carp. Is what I'm reading here. Yeah, there are many breeds of goldfish, but in general, they are hardy golden types of domesticated carp. They come in all kinds of curious arrangements, like the celestial eye goldfish, and are sometimes hibernated with other fish like koi. This was with the case with that big ass. Freaking fish. The normal size of the carrot, they call it the carrot, it serves as a reminder not to release your pets into the wild because they're hardy, because it's a hardy fish. Certain types of goldfish can grow to enormous sizes. Gigantic goldfish have been reported as a problem in parts of America where they upset the silt bed and rip up plants. And they believe pet owners are partly to blame. Goldfish are generalist feeders, will eat whatever and offer, and depending on the breed, they can live for a surprisingly long time. Yeah, that was a gigantic fish. But I didn't know a goldfish was a carp. So I got the salamanders some mealworms today. Put a couple in. And he saw one and went right after it and gulped it down.
So how was the tolling business today there, Squid? You have to do like any repos, and is it like the crap they show on TV? <laughs> Four tire changes in one location, rip. Oh no, repo. Yeah, that would kind of suck to do a repo. What do you call a four tone and under four to a four fiesta? <laughs> One thing, if the Ford wouldn't be able to handle pulling another Ford. Going about what 476 ground speed, not bad. Where's the top of this thing we got? Alright, about 40 miles. Of course it has to be in it. I'm still in Denver. <laughs> down to 3,000 feet. Yeah, I'm going to be doing, after the next flight, I'm going to be doing some Euro truck. 
I do have pro mods installed. Probably the best map mod ever made. Need to drive to Texas, bro. Well, when I get there. Well, today we're doing Euro Truck. Hey, we're going to be doing both of them every day, so. We'll get there sooner. I kind of like both sims. That's what Pro Mods installed. Alright, let's do our descent. Uh, yeah, there is. I don't like coast to coast. Too bland. I do have Pro Mods Canada in the American truck. But nothing like Pro Mods. There are some enhancements on some areas, but not like the whole map that Pro Mods does. Even though I know Coast to Coast did put in some areas, but it's not the whole map. But I haven't really checked it out lately, so.
Wow, they did that. Actually, they did that a lot more, but I don't know how bland it is, though. It was just a bunch of open land, no building, until you hit a, sit a town, a city or town. And then there was, like, mountains in Chicago. There is no mountain Chicago. <laughs> Go into here and my MDA is three sixty. The ILS information is one 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 point one five. Course is two eighty six. That looks pretty good though. Gotta say that looks... And I gotta say the sounds in the 310 is amazing. You know, I thought they were gonna dummy down this plane. Because it's for, my, for the new users, but they didn't. Which I'm happy about. Yeah, so for anybody that know, any builds, this plane, any builds made the Airbus 300, 310, now the Beluga. The, um, Worked with Microsoft to put the, make the 310 part of the 40th anniversary edition, which came free with the came comes free. Now I haven't tried the DC3. One day I will. Like, do you got any to fix this part here? It looks kind of. That looks pretty bad, texture wise. That looks pretty horrible. But other than that, it's a nice looking plane. Yeah, I think for now we're going to switch off from American Truck to Europe. 
every, you know, like one day we do Euro, one day we do America, American. For now, until I figure out what I'm gonna do. I mean, I like playing Satisfactory, but I, when I was streaming it, I was just wasn't feeling it, so... It will eventually come back into the stream, but... Gotta figure out what I've gotta do. Alright, uh, we got a YouTube video, oh no. Imagine driving this on the road. Uh, could have to mute it. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. Best driving around in the world. Where's this? Where's this at? Oh, North Italy. Okay. Nine thousand. Oh, that would be. S oh, that's been like on, on quite a few uh, like movies and stuff, hasn't it? Those um S curves. Those mountains look amazing. I wonder if they put it in Euro Truck. We're gonna have to find that out. You never been to Italy? Neither have I. I haven't been to Europe. I would drive it, but probably not in snow. And it being at 9,000 feet, you know they get snow. But not really the same. You live in EU, close to Italy, and you're 5,000 Yeah, fair enough. Probably more than 5,000 miles. Okay, yeah, about 5,000 miles. That's 4,841. You and your friend was talking to go to Texas and watch. Nice. They let you in. Oh, wait, wait, what happened last time you were in here? Well, they're not going to allow you to come back. I wanted to go to an F1 race when uh, it was in Indianapolis, but they don't do that. Any they don't have it anymore. 
I mean, Indy even made a ward course for them, and it only lasted a few. You don't think you did something wrong? Well, you just said you don't know if they're gonna let you in. What did they? What did you do? <laughs> you didn't. Oh, they're definitely not gonna let you back in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're for not having donuts for breakfast. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, they'll just send you right to prison. Max maximum security as well. Yeah. Where, you, where have you been in the United States? Miami. I've been to Miami. Yeah, I know you could talk. M I A M I. Again. No, Panama City Beach, Florida is a good spot to visit. Now, you don't want to visit LA. <laughs> yeah, Vegas is nice. I've been there a couple times. Only when I was driving over the road, though, and it's just sleep. I mean, I didn't go into any casinos. Win million. Yeah, no, that that never happens. Don't believe what you see in the movies. You win millions, they will like try to figure a way how you cheated and then take the money. They gotta make make up a reason. Say you cheated. You were counting cards, but I was playing slot machines. <laughs> counting the cards. Yeah, they don't like it when you win off them. You become a very bad person when you win a lot of money off of them. I remember going to um, the casino in California when I was on my way to San Diego. And when I gave me and got in there, they're like, hey, "Have you ever been here before?" I said, "No." So they gave me a twenty-dollar comp card, and I won forty dollars. So I I left with that forty dollars. <laughs> That's a forty-dollar win because I was betting on their money. No, no, no. I was like, nope. That's what they get you, though. That is where they get you. Because I know when I was cashing out, they're like, oh, we got this game. We got this game. You might like this game. Play this game. 
And I'm like, nope, I gotta deliver a load. Gotta go. Which I had time. I could have stayed, but... No, I... I remember that load. I was delivering flooring to Camp Pendleton. The Marine Base in base up north of San Diego. Yeah, that was the only military base I've been to. I did deliver metal plates to a one of the new uh, ships, USS Independence. Not the aircraft carrier, but it was one of those smart that they can fit with whatever needs they need it for. Right before I got commissioned, I needed the metal plates so I can get commissioned. I had to deliver it in Jacksonville. Parked right next to it too. It was, it was huge. All I know is they do not like, they not like me asking questions about it. Hit the uh, land button. Go flaps one. There is it. You know it would be kind of nice to have a ship a ship simulator. I almost said shit simulator like we were talking about yesterday. Oh, uh, but, um, that pretty much all the oceans, you know, it's like flight simulator. Even though that would be a very long stream. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go from Tokyo to L.A. There is a sailboat simulator, what was it called, Sail Away or something it's called? Yeah, I have it, but it's like the whole world. But, I know, like, you can set it and leave the game, and it'll, like, text you or email you saying you're close to your destination. So even though you're not playing the game, it's still sailing along. Cost the pond of the sailboat, yep. Alright, let's go. Let's go gear down. Then the wind dies. Yeah, that's... You're in the middle of the ocean. Like, there's no wind. Alright, flaps. Grab the paddles, yes. But it'd be kind of cool, like they had something like that, and it has real world weather too. So, and the rivers and lakes and. Uh, we have no visibility.
Right, this might be interesting. Uh-oh, and we lost it. Yeah, I don't see the airport. Did we pass it? Um. Guess we're gonna go around. Yeah, that was We were stalling big time on that one. Oh, and Squid was thinking, oh, we, he's gonna see a crash. Well, it still can happen. Still happen. We hear it happening? Well, we didn't crash yet, but we're kind of speeding here. Hey, what's up there, Woodsy? Uh, Too much seven point. You know it too. Uh, well, why didn't anchor slowing down? Slow down. <laughs> too much seven by seven spot. Yeah, it's not out of control, but it doesn't want to slow down.
But yeah, I doesn't want to slow down even though I have been on. Don't worry, Chet, this is not normal. Played the Vision 2 yesterday on the PS5. Nice. Yeah, I got my new phone today. It's pretty nice. Uh, Samsung Galaxy A23. Not the top of the line, but it's not the cheapest one. I got it for like 50 bucks at a free month. The Black Friday sale. And I went with Boost because then I. And uh, they have a thing where you download their app and you can like spin a wheel and you get points and that points are taken off your bill. So my phone bill can be cheaper. It actually with the reviews not again. Okay, I have it on 220. Why is it not slowing down? Is this a bug? Uh oh, we got low fuel. Bad pilot, I don't know what the fuel gauges are. Uh, yeah, we are. It doesn't suck. I like it, but now we're burning low on fuel. What else can go wrong? <laughs> All right, so this time we have to land it. 
there is no it just needs to <laughs> bird strike left engine all right we can go I'm actually looking at Volanto right now yeah, try to get me lined up perfectly. Okay, this is getting annoying, so I'm gonna manually throttle it. Manually throttle it. Throttle it there. Oh, thank you. I was going insane there. Look at the map here. Wish there was a buddy now you can redeem points that make your plane crash or has problems. That doesn't sound like a bad idea, but it only has to be on certain planes. Like, the Phoenix does have... You can set random failures. And so does the PMGG. This plane doesn't have randoms. Alright, we're gonna go out a little bit. And if I do that, I gotta watch more Black Box, because that's what, he's a real life Airbus 320 pilot. And he does a lot of failures and explains like what to do in those types of situations, like what's the procedures and... Same thing with B1 simulations on YouTube, another A320 pilot. It does the same thing, but uh, Black Box does more explanation on it. I right, wanna go. But that's like the autopilot, you know, the um, ILS didn't work on that, because I had ILS on. Alright, let's see if it sends me, turns me into the airport. Definitely can't go around because we have very little fuel. We're 
we're gonna get in trouble for not having the minimums. Played flights in this weekend, nice. Getting back into it, nice. Did that bad? Right. Now this might be a bad idea, but I may have to hand fly it in. Not gonna go well. We have no Yeah, definitely not good. Well we're going. There's the airport. I found the airport. Oh, that was a close one. Clouds really causing me a whole lot of confusion. You don't know if you're right side up. Okay, slow down. I'm clipping this old crate. I don't know where the airport is. needs to slow down we're going like 300 miles an hour and I got no throttles on and the speed brakes out any builds get your stuff together here any builds I have no throttles on why did auto throttle go back on? Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Well, right now we have 
low Don't fuel. Sink. We have Don't low sink. fuel Don't and sink. we gotta make it this time around because we're gonna run out of fuel. <laughs> oh, we got. Oh, we're gonna run out of fuel. We're gonna have to get it into the airport. Oh, we got clips. And my speed is still... We're going down. Uh, this is... I got no fuel. I got no fuel. And why is my speed at 300 knots? Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't With no sink. throttles, gear Hold. down. Hold up. Hold up. Don't sink. Don't sink. We're going to land at the airport, but Don't this is sink. not going to be good. Don't sink. No throttles, no... Oh boy, yeah, this... Well, we're parked. <laughs> we are parked. <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least we're parked. Well, somewhat. Uh, we are. Clip of that. The pro landed. We're gonna land at the airport. It's not gonna be wow. I try to clip it, and it. I mean, try to no. Well, we ran out of fuel. <laughs> it did shut off. Oh boy. Yeah. But here's the thing. I could not get it to slow down. I had the spoilers out. Gary's down. No throttle whatsoever. Auto throttle was off. And it was staying in like full throttle, going 320 knots. And then running out of fuel. Wow.